So this will be Ryan Gosling, actor, the new Ken doll in the Barbie movie. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't uh, subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with me. Okay, so 1980, Ryan Thomas Gosling was born on November 12th at St. Joseph Hospital in London, Ontario, Canada. And he's the son of a traveling salesman and a secretary. They were members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which influenced every aspect of their lives. And then because of his father's work, they moved around a lot. Now, in 1993, he's still 12 years old, but he attended an open audition in Montreal for a revival of the Mickey Mouse Club. Remember the Mickey Mouse Club from way back. So that same year uh, later, he was 13, but he was also then a child star on the Mickey Mouse Club with a two-year contract as a Mouseketeer until 1995. And they moved to Orlando, Florida. Um, but he says he was not on screen very much because the other kids were more uh, talented. But the other kids were uh, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, and Justin Timberlake. So he became close friends with Justin, and they lived together for six months. Uh, the second year of the show, when he was probably 13 or 12 uh, or 14, and uh, Timberlake's mother even became Ryan's uh, legal guardian uh, after his own mother had to return to Canada uh, for work. Uh, 1993 was also the year that his parents divorced and um, he and his older sister lived with their mother, which he says lets him think uh, like a girl. Now, uh, Gosling went to public and vocational school and he hated uh, being a kid. He said he was bullied in elementary school and he had no friends until he was 14 or 15. And his mother uh, left her job and homeschooled him uh, for a year. He says homeschooling gave him a sense of autonomy that he never really lost. And then uh, him and his sister sang together at weddings. He performed at his uncle's Elvis Presley tribute act and was also with a local uh, ballet company. Then in 1997, he dropped out of high school at 17 to focus solely on his acting. Then at 1998, at 18 years old, he moved to New Zealand uh, to film the Fox Kids Adventure series, uh, series Young Hercules, and he was uh, Young Hercules. And then 1999, he's 19 and decided to move into serious acting and for doing that he was dropped by his agent and he found it difficult to get work because of the stigma attached to children's uh, television. Then in 2002 he co-starred in the psychological thriller uh, Murder by Numbers with Sandra Bullock and he dated her till 2003 and then 2004 he starred opposite Rachel McAdams in The Notebook as Noah, the young couple of that uh, story. And in 2005 he had a relationship with her uh, until 2007 and then again in 2008 and then 2007, he played an introvert who falls in love with a sex doll in the film Lars and the Real Girl. And then 2009, his band, Dead Man's Bones, released their self-titled uh, album and toured uh, North America. Uh, 2010, he's in a relationship with Ava Mendez, uh, which they are now, and they have two girls. And he previously uh, lived in New York City with his mixed breed dog, George, who sadly is now gone, but he also co-owns Tangine, that's a Moroccan, Moroccan restaurant in Beverly Hills, uh, California. And he bought the restaurant on an impulse and says he spent all of his money on it, plus a year doing the renovation work himself, and now he oversees the menus. Uh, 2016, he in, uh, for La La Land, remember the movie La La Land, the uh, musical on film, that won him the Golden Globe uh, Award for Best uh, Actor. So, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna use the Housewives Tarot for this. Uh, I don't know, it just seems like a fun deck to use. Let me get all these out of here. And uh, so Ryan Gosling, what can the cards tell us about him? This will just be a fun day, you know, just uh, interesting to pull on a celebrity and what a nice guy he seems to be. So Ryan Gosling, 
Let's see uh, what the cards can tell us about him. Maybe about his career, maybe about his life. I don't know. We'll just follow uh, the lead of the cards. But before we do anything, let's have a moment of meditation. Okay. Ryan Gosling, what an interesting guy. Um, I wonder, after watching some of these interviews, if he's not actually very interesting at all, if he maybe has to have a script uh, to, um, to be somebody, to take on that character, or else he's just kind of bland. Um, kind of the feeling you get. But uh, does seem nice. Eva Mendez is certainly a heavy thinker and gets a lot of things done. I think she was president of the Actors Guild, perhaps, for a while. I'm not sure about that. But she is very politically active and uh, so in the Democratic Party. So let's see. Ryan Gosling, what can the cards just tell us about him? Let's do a better spread than that. Let's do, okay, uh, six cards and then we'll see if we want more. So this will be a diet across. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ryan Gosling, what can the cards tell us about him? Okay. So, signifier card for Ryan Gosling. Okay, so this is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is... Um, putting something together for public display. Well, that certainly describes his whole life. That's what he's been doing. He's been uh, uh, making himself available for public display. That is a signifier of him. So who he is is who he's put together. And maybe without that, let's see who he is. But the challenge to that, uh, Three of Pentacles, is um, the Two of Pentacles, which is finding a balance. Okay, there you go. So finding a balance between your life and this persona that perhaps you're creating. The base of this reading then is the devil. Okay, so this is the temptation that all the actors have. This is um, vice. What do we have here? And look, it is the specific vices that you run into. Cigarettes, drink, uh, pills, uh, of course, all the uh, food. So yeah, so vice uh, has been the at the bottom at the kind of the baseline of what he's uh, learned the past of this uh, reading is then the six of cups ah cups are compassion emotion and kind of wanting things the way they were and it seems like that's kind of where he is but i think the way things were they never really were that way because he started uh, in that business at such a young age i wonder if there was ever any real reality the top of this uh, reading then, with his page of wands, wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Page of wands, that's who he's been. Look at this cute little guy. He's got a plan. He's going to ride that plan off into the sunset. Um, this looks like it could be Ryan when he was a kid, dreaming of being uh, an actor. And then, and, and, and doing it. And then the uh, likely outcome of this first part of this for Ryan Gosling is the world card. This is the completion of a cycle. He has arrived, okay? He has uh, had that full experience. He's at a point now to where now his real life is, is, in, is in gear. So let's do uh, four more cards for Ryan Gosling. This is a nice reading. So Ryan Gosling, what about now? You kind of told us the story of his life, uh, which we kind of went over, and, but what about now? Four cards. Okay, the very self of that question for Ryan Gosling, what about right now, is this Page of Pentacles practicing your craft. There you go. He's st still doing that. Maybe he feels like he's got as much a grip on, on that craft as he ever had. And so practicing your craft is a very sig uh, signifier of that question. And it's in the environment of the Seven of Pentacles, wondering if you've done enough. This is value. You're looking at your crops saying, is there more I could do? Is it so he's really into working on his craft. The hopes and the fears for all of this then, for Ryan Gosling, Ace of Pentacles, getting it just right, making sure you're as valuable as you possibly can be. And uh, so there we go, the Ace of Pentacles. And then the final outcome for Ryan Gosling is uh, this Five of Cups. Well, this is interesting because this is compassion, emotion. Uh, this is kind of, I like to call this card crying over spilt milk. So this is showing you that you've got some, some, some emotional situations that have fallen down. You've still got a couple of pretty nice 
uh, cups uh, up here. And so the likely outcome is that um, we, you hope, at least, that you recognize uh, out of the pain that's come before what you've got less than what you can go on with. I like that. So those are the cards. I hope you agreed. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you want me to read on next, and I will. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the Housewives Tarot, a domestic divination kit with deck and instruction book by Paul Keppel and Jude Buffum. And this is put out by Quirk uh, uh, Press, I guess it's called. So this is so neat. It's reminiscent of a recipe box. And it's, it's really sturdy, solid, thick cardboard. And it's got so many cool illustrations on the outside. It was only about $16. And... Um, and then it's even got here, uh, guaranteed by the housewife occultists of America. Just really neat. Okay. So if we go inside, the first thing you're going to notice is that it's set up just like a recipe box. The first little card here, you'll see it says uh, the housewife tarot. And then on the back of this, it just tells you about the publisher and the copyrights and that sort of thing. But the second card is labeled as the major arcana. Okay. And then the back of it is an actual real recipe i mean i've read the recipe you can make this this one's called the icebox um fortune cake and i won't read the recipe but i'll just tell you this cool uh, little thing says is for use with the neapolitan spread the spread is referring to i think four or six uh ways to divine the card to spread the cards out so this is for use with the neapolitan spread and it says here eat this cake quickly before your past present and future start melting together really you know just cute uh, the first section here had the major arcana in here separately. Of course, I've mixed up the cards and, and shuffled them, so it's not that anymore, but I put that little group there so you can see what it looked like. The second um, card here is the uh, minor arcana uh, card, recipe card. Again, another recipe that you can actually prepare. This is like deviled eggs, but they've called it here divinated eggs instead of deviled eggs. And it says for use with the dinette spread. So like a dinette table. And it says you'll never go back to deviled eggs once you've had them divinated. Really cool and a decent recipe. The third um, card, which I've got out of, uh, and then the, of course the uh, pip cards, the minor, minor arcana with it. The third card, which was actually uh, here, uh, it talks about the instruction booklet. And I'll pull it out and it says, yep, instruction booklet. And then on the back, another recipe. And this is his Madame Marlena's Mystical Martini. It's for use with the martini spread, which is another spread they recommend. And also it's an, an actual, actual recipe you could prepare. The booklet itself is amazing. It's a really good quality of booklet, okay? It's got full color and really great, uh, interesting divinations for the cards. But the first part is what's so cool. The first page here tells you one, two, three, four, five different spreads that you could uh, lay the cards out in, they suggest, they've developed. And then this, I'll just tell you this first little paragraph and then the last sentence, because this is, just gives you an idea of how uh, quirky and how interesting this thing is written. It says right here, regarding the mystical housewife's tarot, the legend, uh, according to gossip, the housewife's tarot was introduced by housewife extraordinaire Marlene Louise Weatherby in the early 1950s. She was a happy homemaker who seemed to have it all, a devoted husband, obedient children, a sparkling home that was the talk of the town, a fashion sense to die for, and for more than her fair share of, and more, far more than her fair share of women's intuition very cool and then just the last sentence is so neat it says here just how exactly did marlene acquire these mis this mystical knowledge whether whenever pressed she kept her lips sealed tighter than tupperware marlene took her secret to the grave bless her heart and the origin of the housewife's tarot shall remain shrouded in mystery forevermore just really really very thoughtful everything about this so if you can't tell i'm loving the deck so that's the box. The cards, uh, actually, they're a decent weight of cards, okay? They're not too slick. And uh, this kind of looks like a tablecloth, doesn't it? And then, uh, let me lay them out for you. The, the are different, um, the Major Arcana and then the Minor uh, Pip cards have their own kind of color-coded uh, sequencing here. Major Arcanas are circled in black. The uh, cups are in blue and uh, green for the pentacles, etc. and so forth. And they're very colorful. They're easy to divine. The only thing I would say is that this Empress, for instance, is the number two of the Major Arcana. And in typical Rider Waite system, number two is the High Priestess. And if I'm not mistaken, the High Priestess in this was actually labeled as a number three, which would be the Empress. So that doesn't quite 
uh, me meld with the uh, Rider weight system, but they're easy enough to divide because I tell you right here what this card is supposed to be. You know, I lay the cards out like this so that you get a chance to see more than just the few that come out when we do a reading. And um, to also give you an example of, the, you know, if you're doing a reading for someone, they can do this too and uh, lay the cards out and you kind of get their energy in you know, if you don't particularly want them to shuffle them, which I don't particularly like people to shuffle my cards because I kind of shuffle them uh, not in a... Um, you know, not in a, a rough manner. So here we have it, the Housewives Tarot. Really great. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.